Cedar Falls stabbing halted by concealed carrier. That's what we're going to talk about on today's Daily Shooter. My name is Paul Gordon for News Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Today's date is Sunday, December 11th, 2016. Let's get on with the show. This is from WFCCourier.com. Cedar Falls. A man with a permit to carry a firearm detained a Cedar Falls man when he started stabbing people at his apartment building last month, according to authorities. According to police, Adam Scott Jacobson had stabbed fellow tenant Jeffrey Miller 24 times and apartment manager Denise Bennett eight times at University Avenue Studio Apartments before Daniel Williams drew his firearm. He poked the gun and ordered him to the ground, said Chief Jeff Olson with the Cedar Falls Police Department. He said Jacobson complied and remained there until police arrived. Before police got there, he holstered his gun, Olson said. Olson said he, he don't know... If, he, if Jacobs would have continued his attack without Williams' intervention. Once again, the gun saves the day. Attempts to murder two, possibly more people, were halted when a man with a gun stopped another man from stabbing people. The lesson here? Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's true. Also, don't leave your gun at home when someone else might attack you with a knife. Thank you for joining us on today's Daily Shooter with Paul Gordon. This has been Cedar Falls Stabbing Halted by Concealed Carrier. Join us on this same YouTube channel for the next edition of New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember... Not enough to subscribe now. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Also, you can like us on Facebook at New Shooting Self-Defense. And always remember your ABCs, folks. Always be carried.